I think it's time we talk about golems in Minecraft. Everybody's favorite mob that never wins the mob vote. Last year we had the copper golem. This year we had the tough golem, which we don't know the final verdict as of right now, but I'm pretty sure we all know who's going to win this year's mob vote. And who knows what next year's mob is going to be in terms of golems, but I think it's safe to say that they just aren't popular enough. These ideas that Mojang is giving us, the concepts of golems, at least when it comes to the mob vote, they just aren't exciting enough. They're not good enough to get the popular vote. The copper golem can press buttons and the tough golem can be decorative. But after a year of waiting and anticipating the biggest Minecraft event, is that something you really want to vote for? The answer is no. But of course, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So let's talk about why golems are not succeeding in Minecraft, because we already have two amazing golems, the iron golem and the snow golem. Everybody knows how iconic and how legendary these mobs are. So when it comes to golems, I think we all appreciate what they're capable of doing. And it seems like Mojang understands this when it comes to their other games, when it comes to Minecraft Dungeons and Minecraft Earth, as well as Minecraft Legends, which isn't even out yet, but they've already shown through the brief videos and the gameplay footage that they do understand golems and what they should be able to do for the player. Mojang has already created a world where golems fight monsters. That's simply what they do. That's their nature. They protect villagers. Now, is it okay to stray away from that? Yes, of course it is, especially when it comes to bosses. We've seen with Minecraft Dungeons that they're capable of being incredible bosses like the Tempest Golem, and I believe the Redstone Golem is a boss as well. So they have a lot of different bosses and a lot of different golems going on in Minecraft Dungeons. Angie needs to come in and help. For the most part, golems are known for just being good and protectors. So why aren't we seeing that with the latest few golems? What we're seeing instead are golems that have these weird specific quirks where they just do a singular task and that's it. And it comes off as slightly lazy when you compare the golems to other golems that are in different Minecraft games. Look at the furnace golem that we have from Minecraft Earth which this game has been dead for like over a year now, but here's the description. The furnace golem is a fierce mob, smashing its enemies into the air and scorching the earth with its fiery attacks. Don't be scared though, it will protect you from hostile mobs that lurk in the darkness. That description of the furnace golem, it makes me wish we had a mob like that. It sounds incredible, and for golems, I think this is what we expect as a community. And just the idea of having a golem like the furnace golem, maybe it's something where you have to give it wood or some sort of fuel like coal or charcoal. Like that sounds cool. Like obviously it's gonna be stronger than a regular golem, but you're gonna have to give it fuel. So there's a bunch of ways that they could implement this mob into Minecraft and of course a bunch of other mobs from different Minecraft games, but instead Mojang likes to give us these golems that are gonna appeal to a very small specific core group of Minecraft players, which isn't a bad thing, don't get me wrong, there should be a mob for everybody, but why call it a golem? Why not just create an entire new type of mob for that specific purpose, similar to what they did with the Alley. The Alley is unique, and it's one of a kind. And I think they should stick with that approach when it comes to very niche type of mobs. But when it comes to the golems, they should either be protectors or they should be destroyers. But for now, we're just getting golems that walk around, that can stand still, that turn into statues or press buttons, which isn't the most exciting mob when we only have this once a year. So as of right now, when I'm recording this video, the tough golem hasn't lost, the rascal hasn't lost, we don't actually have a winner from Minecraft Live, but I'm pretty sure at this point we all know that the sniffer, it just has the popularity vote. Like a lot of people really want to see the sniffer win, 
it's a great mob. So it wouldn't shock me or surprise me if the sniffer wins. And compared to the tough golem and even the rascal, the sniffer just seems like a mob that is more polished and is going to offer more content long term, especially if we get an archaeology update. But in terms of golems, they will always be a part of Minecraft, and I hope Mojang continues to explore these magnificent fantasy creatures because they have a lot to offer, and I just feel like they're not tapping into that potential, which is another reason I can't wait to get my hands on Minecraft Legends because we're seeing some incredible mobs coming from that game. So as always, I want to say thank you guys for the support, and I'll see you all in the next video. So take care. Peace.